What's up with it, Tennis Dynamics? It's your boy, Coop, man. Y'all know what time it is. It's interview time. Man, we back at you. And we got an OG for real. Somebody I highly respect in this rap game. I know a lot of you guys do, too. What's going on with the Mighty Quinn? Man, say some more good shit about me. No, I'm fucking with you. What's up? What's up, <laughs> with you, Coop? You know oh, what man. What's up, Coop? <laughs> you know I'm oh, shit with you, baby. How you doing? <laughs> I'm all right, man. How you been? Man, I'm just yeah, blessed, highly favored in the Lord. First and foremost, you know, God first, man, everything else fall in order. In the soldier, soldier type way, man. I'm blessed, man. I've just been working. I just wanted to talk to Coop because there's a movement going on right now, man, with this film on shit. You feel me? And, uh, well, let's talk about it. Let's talk about yeah, it. Yeah, what's going on in film right now, man, is this new millennium renaissance, man, with, uh, you already know me, San Quinn, JP, he put me in the game, but we got 40 keys, you dig what I'm saying, we got Galaxy Adams, we got Show Banger, you dig what I'm saying, coming up out the neighborhood, we got Gunner, you dig what I'm saying, we got the little homies from the Jets, like, basically, everybody in film, you know, as far as the rap shit, this film shit is bigger than, bigger than me, bigger than mess, you feel what I'm saying, Bigger than everybody from our neighborhood. I joined Nicotina, the neighborhood we come from. So we got a new wave of youngsters just bringing, bringing the heat. You feel what I'm saying, Coop? With this film on Renaissance shit. You did? Because I remember you yeah. asked me last time, you was like, what's going on in Frisco? I'm like, maybe niggas going to step up. You feel me? Going back right. to the other interview. So right now, it's just my, my young niggas stepping up. You feel what I'm saying? They, they stepping up in this film on shit, especially with 40 kids. How he moving right now, you dig what I'm saying? They can tap into this film on shit for real. Of course, Galaxy Adams, too, you know, with Showbanger, too, because he tied into the HBK and Showbanger moving on some real ball shit, too. You dig what I'm saying? So my youngsters are turning up in the neighborhood, man, and they need to know that they all for film mode. You feel me? That's, that, it's a good look, man. You name it the heavy hitter. They definitely moving. We paying attention. Showbanger moving. Uh, Galaxy just dropped a video. Couple uh, days ago, a few days ago, or something that's blowing up. Dope joint, man. We're about to go on tour with Burner again. Galaxy is back on tour with Burner. So when you see Burner moving around, you about to see some more of that Galaxy Adams, and definitely you see the boy Forty Kings, right? You see him shining, huh? Yeah, man. Sending me a lot of videos. He putting out a lot of a lot of video work, a lot of songs. He he definitely working, man. He definitely yeah, he working. working. So I gotta I gotta ask, man. What about this, about your son? You know, you, you, he been shit. If we've been keeping up with your career, we've been seeing him around from the beginning, and now he reached the potential where he at. I mean, just you just sitting back at the pad, even if you wasn't a rapper, how are you feeling about the the, the, the lightweight success that he's he having having right now? Well, see, it's more for him to do. You dig know what I'm saying? He was trying to be the beast that he's gonna eventually. Uh, he's gonna turn into that. That's on the way. He just it's a blessing to see. I'm proud of him as a son, but it's a blessing to see, and he know that there's more to do. Like, I'm still trying to be great at rapping, so he definitely knows there's more to do. I'm just trying to stay on top of him like I'm supposed to, but he go to work, though. He go to work, and he know Galaxy Adams is. You dig know what I'm saying? That's, that's who he is. He, he little Quinn when he, he had to, when he grew up. He didn't grow up out of that. He Galaxy Adams creating his own lane. And big shot to Burner for believing in him and, and taking him on the road with him and letting him see the ropes. And, it's gonna get bigger and better, man. You feel me? Do we do we help pops like as opposed to pops helping him? Uh yeah, the nigga be in the studio with me trying to give me pointers and shit, man. I talk to these niggas this shit, man. I talk mess how to rap, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, but, uh, yeah, he definitely he definitely uh he definitely he keeping me on my young nigga shit, of course. He keeping me sharp. It's, it's still a battle life for us when we be in there rapping because I'm not trying to let him do me too bad. So it, it's good to steal the sharpness still from both angles. I raised him now. Yeah, he definitely is giving me game, cool, without a doubt. Yeah. Dude, dude, I know you, you come you come from that. You come from both sides, the backpack, in my, in my opinion. You come from the backpack. You come from the street rap. <laughs> do y'all ever battle? Is there ever a cipher between father and son? Uh, well, you know, we so used to living in this Bay Area shit where we, uh, where we, we, we battle on that. So we trying to make a song and get some content, sell a, a record and get some content. You feel what I'm saying? So that's, that's one thing I have with, as far as freestyling. You feel me? Like, make a song, you dig, to get some content so we can make some money off of it because the game that we're in now. You feel what I'm saying? He know he can't fuck with me from the mouth, though, like freestyle shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's right, man. You've been on your grind. I, I, I've been paying attention. I'm seeing uh, collabo albums since I last yeah. talked to you. I must say mixtapes. Uh, the female lion. When the female lion is the latest thing that I just dropped. Uh, my first real solo album since since Boy to a Man True solo album. I tied in with Tracks from the Wrist. Big shout out to Tracks from the Wrist and my homeboy Luigi at Legacy Studios. And we closed the studio for three weeks. And just, I didn't come out that motherfucker. I stayed. I might have slept right around the corner at a little hotel in Richmond, nigga, with my helmet on display. You feel me? But still cool because I'm with my guys. But I, I stayed right there in Richmond and came right to the studio. And that's what we got. And, and you know what I mean? My cousin Stalin did clean you back. So Stalin gave me the nod, man. I'm, he got me feeling good. People like me. It's just, I'm just, you know, back in that groove. I'm not really mad, man. You feel me? I was really upset at Mets. And it threw me off my my ball a little bit. You feel me? And it's no longer affecting you. It's not affecting me because we fulfill more. You feel what I'm saying? I, I was going to move to L.A. I am out of move. I'm still in the area, but I moved down here to Southern California, right? But when I came down here, as much as I've been working for 24 years, I'm like, I'm saying Queen. they like, I'm saying Queen. Some people knew me. Some people didn't. Uh, but when I tell them where I'm from, I'm fulfilled, my man. Everybody knew what that was. You feel me? And, and just when I was down there, I was trying to make a transition. She was, she was like, going to stay down there writing songs. I was like, shit. When I seen it, film was what they knew. I was like, shit, I got more to do for my neighborhood and my city. You know, much love to 100 points, Sunny Deal. All my young guys rapping coming up from over there too. G Wild and Lil Yates and Molly G's and people like that. Uh, I was like, I got more to do for my neighborhood. I'm just a soldier in a big army. And for us, and, and it's a legit rap army. You dig what I'm saying? Just, you know, between Nicotina, Willie Hen, uh, the meth, of course, you dig what I'm saying? Uh, Fote, you dig what I'm saying? You know, so it's just, now I'm, I'm the leader of my young guys that's coming up and niggas and came up with me and this shit, like Big Rich and, and YB the rock star and Bailey and, you dig what I'm saying? And more than people, uh, Pete Streets and Telly Mac and you dig some of the more vicious and seeds that come within them A blocks, Wally G and people like that. So, um, now, you know what I mean? So, uh, that, that's how I got over the mess. Because Philly was our neighborhood. We got friends that then killed each other. You dig what I'm saying? Both of them did. So we, we literally know that situation happening, and it ain't working. Like, he's more of an entity than he is, uh, you know what I mean, a liability. Now, some of the stupid ass shit he done did and all this crazy shit he been doing, I think that's just him being isolated and not being around nobody who loves him to pull his coat and be like, come on, cousin, that's your cash. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So is that, is, that, is that pretty much the mind frame of everybody in the community of, of, uh, of the streets and the rap community of Frisco right now? I mean, it's just a nigga that's going to be in that from his own neighborhood. You know what I mean? It's, it's, everybody got their own individual issue. You know what I'm saying? He got to come back and iron some shit out with some niggas. He might have already been talking to niggas, but it's still every, you know, he didn't, he didn't piss off the Mexicans and he's talking about Dre and what the, the picture shit and all that type of like, like bad ass, negative ass shit. You dig know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have, nobody agrees with, you know I'm saying, that, you know, once he get over them little situations, man, with a nigga raw, man, he already put down in history to where he can come back. He just needs to come back and be seen in the community. I ain't trying to sit down with him and eat no hamburger and no shit like that. If we do some music and it happen, it happen, but I'm just saying, come back and be seen in the community and come back humbly. Because you, you got to admit when you're wrong, like, doing shit like that, like, you know, he talked about my mama and my dad's that father, but... I got over that. You feel what I'm saying? He's just a nigga that, that do shit like that when he isolated, when he ain't with his people, my nigga. Because ain't none of his people going to agree to no stupid shit. You feel me? And his people is my people. We can feel them You feel me? I got it. I got it. Now, you was talking about you you being the leader of the young movement and everything. Is that what, is that what the motivation was behind uh, putting together the Fillmore Lions? Yeah, Jeff, that was the inspiration for the film on Lion. Like, I, I'm the Lion. I'm, I'm one of the, I'm the chief. You dig what I'm saying? But I could be the ma- I could be the janitor too, janitor the manager. I'm on this team. You dig what I'm saying? So that's the right. mentality we gotta have coming from our neighborhood. It ain't ain't no big needs to lose use. Every film nigga think he the nigga. All of us want a hundred million dollars. You dig what I'm saying? And you dig what I'm saying? And, and that carry ourselves like that. Hopefully too with this shit. So yeah, I'm just yeah. That was that was a part of the inspiration and going to L.A. and coming back. And finding out that as much as I've been working in San Quinn, the world don't know me. I ain't bigger than my neighborhood. You feel me? Indeed, indeed. I, mean, I got some new shit coming too, though, Coop. I'm doing yeah, what the young niggas doing. I got a new one called 89. 
Rocking with part one of the interview with San Quinn exclusively with Sickness.net. So on Coop DeVille, man. You know what's up, man. Hey, order to listen to this entire interview, man. Please log on to the front page of, w- of Sickness.net, man. You know what? Sickness.net, the Sickness.net network, man. Eat the punch in to the interview section. Go check us out on the front page, man. Look for that big face of San Quinn. He right there on the, on the, uh, on the front page, man, right there. Check us out, man. www.sickness.net, man. Check us out. Log on. Yeah. 